Legos. I have a couple here that I already did, just to show you guys that you can use any color Lego you want. Doesn't have to be the ones that I'm using. You can also use any types of bricks that you want. And building with Legos is all about being creative and using your imagination. So, so let's get started. And then we're gonna take two roof tiles. They're the two by two, 45 degree angle roof tiles. Those are gonna go back to back on top of your stack of two by two. So it looks like that so far. Then on top of the roof tiles, we're gonna take two two by threes. Put those on top. We need one more, let's see, two by two. And then the ends are going to be the one by twos. So our middle castle tower is going to look like this. And there we have our castle. Now if you do have a castle door, that's a great. You can go ahead and set it in the front there. If you don't have one, that's okay. And if you are interested in other Lego building books, you can check them out from the library. Jousting was a very popular competition among knights during the medieval times. Two knights on horseback would charge towards each other with the main purpose of knocking the other one off of their horse. To do this, they would use a lance, which is a long weapon similar to a sword or a spear. Jousting tournaments were mainly held as games or events, and the winners were looked up to as heroes, often winning a prize. Today, we will be featuring the library's Koji robots in a jousting tournament. In right, today we're gonna do some jousting. Knight Sir William will battle Knight Sir Henry. Let the battles begin. to a handle by a chain or strong rope. The sword. There were several sword classifications. and how the peasants, what they wore. So this, I'm gonna be talking about the basket. Warriors dress that they wore back then. To explain to you that women did not always wear dresses. There were many occasions that women wore pants in medieval times. <laughs> going to make a Bessie and it's gonna look similar to this okay now in your bag you'll have your supplies you're gonna need let's see what's in the bag here first of all there's a, a connect the dot Bessie so we'll just put it to the side and you can work on that later you'll find a yellow sheet with your pattern drawn on it and I've gone ahead and I have cut mine out already. You'll find your instructions on how to make your Bessie. And we're not gonna quite go as the instructions say, you'll see. You'll find a piece of felt. Now you're gonna take, you're gonna take your pattern and you're going to lay your pieces on it and you're gonna draw around them and come up with your pieces to make your Bessie. Isn't he so cute? 
and you made him, which makes it even more special. So is about the Loveland Frogman, and I'm going to show you how to make a craft to make your own little glowing frog. Now, once you've cut out your hands and feet, you're going to want to attach them to the ends of the pipe cleaners. So you'll take one of your pipe cleaner pieces and put both of the little hands on each side. And I just kind of put the end through that hole and folded it over. Then, once you have it closed, the nice thing about pipe cleaners is you can shape and move them however you need to. So go ahead and adjust his little hands up, his legs down. Then, you're going to take your googly eyes, peel them off of the little sticker paper, and put them on your frog. And there is your own glowing frog man. So watch the video to learn how to make your own Loveland frog man, who glows in the dark by the way. Swing by the library to pick up your grab bag, because everything that you need to make him is in this bag. Okay, many monsters call the deep sea home. There's a giant spider crab, anglerfish, lizardfish, goblin shark, gul gulper eel. But there is one more terrifying than the others. The Kraken. Where did everyone go? Why don't they like me? Maybe I should try to be someone else. So the Kraken looks like he's knitting himself a scarf there. Hey friends, what's Kraken? I'm Koi, lied the Kraken. Something smells fishy, said the manta ray. You're awfully big for a Koi. That's because he's not a Koi, shrieked the tuna. He's the Kraken. Won't anyone be my friend? What's so bad about 